All right, so here in the understory, we have <clears throat> a shrub to small tree that's about 12 feet tall. And we see that it is palmately lobed. So we're gonna go ahead and key this out. So grab your books <clears throat> and turn to the broadleaf tree and shrub key. Our first question is, are the leaves simple or compound? So if we look at these, these are definitely simple leaves and not compound. So simple, we then go on to, are the leaves opposite or alternate? So if we look closely at these leaves, we see that they're growing opposite one another. So the leaves are indeed opposite. So that takes us to number four. And the question is, are the leaves palmately lobed in vein, kind of like the palm of your hand, or are the leaves not palmately lobed and the veins pinnate, arcuate, or netted? So these are definitely palmately lobed, which means that we're looking at an acer. So if you turn to the key to the acers, all right, the first question is, are the leaves at least five inches in diameter with long petioles and secrete a milky juice when squeezed? So these are definitely significantly less than five inches in diameter. So our other choice is leaves less than five inches in diameter and no milky petiole. So less than five inches in diameter takes us to number two. Lobes, five to nine, mostly seven and fan-like, or lobes three, occasionally two, smaller basal lobes, sometimes divided into compound leaves. So let's see, we've got two, four, six, seven on that one, two, four, six, seven on that one. So it looks like we're looking at seven lobes, which is our Acer circinatum. So Acer circinatum, if you think of the circinatum as being very circular, so the overall appearance of these leaves is quite circular or almost fan-like. And again, these leaves typically have anywhere from five to nine lobes, although seven is the most common. The petiole is typically a little bit shorter than the leaf. And that's really important if you're trying to distinguish this from Acer glabrum vardiglossii, because Acer glabrum vardiglossii typically has a petiole that's longer than the rest of the leaf. The samaras on your Acer circinatum are typically 180 degrees across. So Acer circinatum does provide forage for deer and elk. However, from a forestry perspective, it's often seen as having very limited commercial value and can indeed actually be a competitor for many target species such as your young Douglas fir seedlings. It's still planted pretty commonly as an ornamental in parks and places.